Om Shanti, now we're doing the recording of today, the present day, that is 8th of September. Supreme God Father wants us to perform auspicious tasks by imbibing the nobility of purity. Now, purity for the world, if you talk about purity, they'll generally think that it has got something to do with brahmacharya or celibacy. But here God is saying celibacy is just a first step. Purity over here means that whatsoever you think or whatsoever you do, you are going to make sure that somebody is going to benefit out of it or many are going to benefit out of it, not just yourself. So doing business with purity, helping others with purity, guiding others with purity, helping others with improving their health with purity, that's where your name, your fame, your desire for earning or your desire to be on top of the other person is at the backdrop or at the background and the main aim is in front of you that is to make other people's lives better and that is the right pure way, method so let's see what does God over here have to say God says may you constantly perform auspicious tasks by imbibing the nobility of purity and become a highest and most special soul when ordinary souls adopt purity that means they are following celibacy they are called great souls purity is nobility Purity is worthy of worship. Don't you agree so? That's why many people who are in the stages of sainthood or who are become, uh, let's say, in any religious sect, they become the fathers or the priests or the nuns or uh, Brahmins who are following purity at their complete sense, in the complete sense, in a higher sense and not just for the sake of show. Then they are being rewarded with a lot of noble and uh, noble and auspicious way of or they are being worshipped in an auspicious manner on a daily basis and they are being revered as somebody who is larger than the other normal common public now that is something which Supreme God Father says is a very common thing which is happening but what exactly is the purity God talking about let's explore that so then God says, when an auspicious task is being carried out, carried out, they have it done by Brahmin priests, generally. In fact, there are many who are Brahmins in name. Yes. But who? But you are special souls who do everything according to your name. That means, being born in a Brahmin family is okay. But being a Brahmin and falling down, Brahmacharya and also following the ways of Brahma that means having no impure thinking towards any soul in this world no matter what that soul has done to you why because that is going to make your mind be peaceful make your intellect be clean and clear to make your life's decisions in life now if you are completely full of impurity that means there's a lot of muck in your mind there's a lot of impurity in your mind there's a lot of garbage in your mind there's so many old thoughts which are actually rotting in your mind then to make and to generate the power to create a very pure and powerful thought which is, which is going to help not just you but many other souls is far away from a dream also and that's where you will generally feel that you're not full of happiness and full of peace you're full of sorrow and you're full of regrets and guilt and manipulation and you have to use manipulation you'll have to use hard work you'll have to push around people you'll have to use fear you'll have to use anger you'll have to use so many negative traits to get that same work done and just having a pure mind is going to change everything around that's what a brahmin does and god says you perform ordinary actions in remembrance of the father and so you become special this is why when you perform such special actions, you become the highest and most special soul. That means you are completely soul conscious or energy conscious or spark conscious or quantum conscious or infinite energy conscious yourself and of the Supreme. And then you perform that action because that's where your own physical self is not going to pull you. Your physical desires are not going to come in front of your task. In front of what you've come to do on this earth they will take a backdrop they will come at the background your physical needs will be at the back and your need to serve will be at the foreground 
and this is what many companies are trying to do many ceos are trying to achieve many ceos are trying to achieve it with their with the groups with their teams with the subordinates many ngos are trying to achieve that level which is being taught at prama kumaris for free how to achieve that how to achieve that synergy you too can learn that for yourself and for your team and for your company and for your business at prama kumaris that's what we learn at prama kumaris with this om shanti